Hello and welcome to WTMB Today. I'm your host, Wendy Benton. Thank you for joining me. With me today I have Silvana Clark. She is the Volunteer Brand Ambassador of Royal Family Kids and Tim Sams of South Cleveland Church of God. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. You're here to talk uh, to us about the Royal Family Kids Camps and it's very exciting and in talking to both of you, um, South Cleveland has done a, a wonderful job of, of uh, making this camp happen for our local kids. And Silvana, you and your husband, Alan, are traveling the country visiting these camps. Tell our audience about Royal Family Kids. How, when did it start? Royal Family Kids started over 25 years ago, and they are unique one-week camps for abused, abandoned, and neglected children. And a gentleman by the name of Wayne Tesh, he and his wife really felt a need that there needs to be camps, something special for these children. And they started Royal Family Kids Camps where children can be treated royally. And that's one of the emphasis that each child is made to feel special. Now, the age range for these kids that go to camp uh, is 6 to 12 years six old. 6 to 12 year olds, right. We have the younger ones. And there's 480,000 foster kids you mentioned. It's a sad statistic. There are 480,000 foster children across the United States. There's 200 Royal Family Kids Camps, which is a lot, but there's a lot of children who aren't able to come to camp just because they're not available. Right. Well, and you're here, uh, as we said, you and Alan are traveling across the country visiting all of the camps and you have, uh, you're traveling in your RV that is very noticeable and fun and bright. I know we've got a picture of the RV um, that they can put up on the, the screen, but uh, tell us about that. When did you start? Uh, we started about eight weeks ago. Um, Ellen and I are semi-retired. I'm a professional speaker and an author, so I have a real flexible schedule. And we wanted to do something. We like traveling, wanted to do something to travel with a purpose. We contacted Royal Family because we've done some volunteering with the camps. And we said, hey, we'll buy an RV and we'll volunteer and travel around the country. What do you think? And they said, sure. So that's why it's branded. It doesn't look like a white RV with just swooshes. It's got kids' faces all <laughs> over it. Yes, it's very cute. We can't it's get gas without people coming up. And then we're able to talk, hand out brochures. And we go to different churches. We went to South Cleveland. We were going to try to pull under there. They have in front of the church this portico, and we were going to pull underneath, and we were just pulling underneath, and Tim says, stop, stop, <laughs> and our air conditioner was right there. We almost took out the side of the church, but we try to be careful. <laughs> and so we go to camps, and we'll, we have parachute games and do all different activities with the kids, or we also, if camp isn't in session, we'll go and do some staff training with the staff. Well, and uh, I know that you've got several spots that you're going to across the country. In fact, we have a map of that, of, of all of the, the camps that are offered uh, across the country right. and this time of year, and um, they can pull that picture up as well. But uh, you and Alan, like you said, you're visiting the churches. There it is. Look, they're Lots scattered Lots of little everywhere. dots over there. We can't hit all of them because there's 200. But there we are down southeast Tennessee. Yeah, southeast Tennessee is right on there. So you're route has taken you uh, down here to, to the big city of Cleveland. Yes. And you're visiting South Cleveland Church of God that began their camp uh, several years ago. 18 years ago in 1998. Yeah. Tim, so. tell us about, about the camp that you all offered through uh, Royal Families, uh, Royal Family Kids. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for these foster kids. This was a, uh, the heart of Lance Kochmeyer former children's pastor and our current CE and missions board director. Uh, he and uh, Jerry White went to the, a training and came back and said, we're going to start a camp and ask for volunteers. So since then, uh, each year, we have a family within a family, our royal family, uh, which includes several people that have been doing this for 18 years. Uh, Savannah and Alan recognized uh, Doug and Pam Silver yesterday at church and Nathan and Denise Sherlin. Both of those couples have been working for 18 years uh, in camp and uh, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm 17 years. <laughs> That's right. You had to have knee surgery yes, in there, right? <laughs> that, that kind of knocked me out that one year. Well, and you've done an amazing job as, as a, one of the camp counselors or cousins as you call it and you've got a real heart for these kids. Yes. 
uh, and that's uh, I warn people when we when we interview new new uh, cousins, I warn them. I said there's a danger because if you go one time, you'll be hooked. You'll you'll keep coming. And but it's it's a wonderful experience. Uh, I was just sharing earlier. Uh, one of my favorite times is uh, Friday evenings when we come back. The church provides a welcome home dinner for the for the volunteers, and and we share stories where we we laugh. And then we cry, but it, it's that's what keeps us coming back is is those uh, life changing experiences not only for the kids, mm -hmm. but for us ourselves. Right, and you've grown from twenty kids uh, in the beginning to now sixty eight well, kids. That's that you how take. many we have scheduled uh, to go this year? Thirty two boys and, and six, uh, thirty six girls. Wow, so. and and you said also that you've got just almost that many adults that go. The ratio in Royal Family Kids Camps is a two to one ratio. So each cousin will have two children and they're with them 24 hours a day almost. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, as part of my job is matching uh, an adult cousin with those two campers. Uh, and we have to kind of, uh, for the newbies, you know, try and get them to the kids that are not going to be uh, uh -huh. based on their profile. Uh, runners, handful. runners, yes. we have runners. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we have several people uh, that take a week's vacation to come. I'm, I'm a, a retired teacher and there's several teachers from our church that, you know, it doesn't affect us, we're out mm -hmm. of school, but the number of people that volunteer each year and take a week's vacation to do this is amazing. Right, and and you obviously they have to have a heart for it. Oh, yes. You have to have a heart for it, and uh, to make it successful, also. So, Vonna, tell us about um, some of the special things that go on at these camps, and what makes Royal Family Kids Camp different. One thing that makes it different is the plan activities that normal camps would simply think it's not important. For example, a lot of these children don't have baby books and they don't have that picture of them, you know, with their first birthday cake and cake all over their face that we all think is so cute. And so every camp has a everybody's birthday and that means the kids come in, they get cakes, they have balloons, there's games, they get presents. And for some children, it's just that feeling of, wow, this is my own, my own present. And just last week, one counselor told me he handed his birthday present to his 10-year-old little camper. And the 10-year-old boy looked at him and said, what do I have to do to be able to keep this present? Mm -hmm. oh. And so that's the concept that they have. Instead of, oh, cool, it's a present, mm -hmm. it's a whole different concept. And so mm -hmm. Royal Family tries to do that. Each camp also has a theme each year, and this year the theme is the Olympics, because the Olympics are coming. And so one of the things Al and I are bringing is, this is an actual Olympic torch. My daughter and I got to carry it for the 2002 Olympics for our volunteer work. And so, um, again, the camps, the, because these kids don't have memory books, we're going to have each child or have uh, baby pictures. Each child will get a picture of them holding this. We've got a plaque that says USA. So they'll hold the <laughs> Olympic torch, get their picture taken, and then that will go in a memory book, which then they take home and they have this book of their great experiences that they had at camp. Oh, that's great. Now, how how do they get the books put together before there they are camp? volunteers again? <laughs> wow. Volunteers. There's a camp photographer. No cameras are allowed at camp by the staff or anybody, just for security. But there's mm -hmm. a camp photographer, and they take pictures of them eating, sleeping. You know, if you tie uh -huh. your shoe, you get your uh -huh. picture taken. Horseback riding, Horseback riding <laughs> fishing, <laughs> all those. And then volunteers come in and they make an individual scrapbook for each child. So they go home saying, "Look, I I went horseback riding. I did this," and they have that. And then when school starts and they go back to school and the teacher says, what would you do this summer? They can stand there with everybody else and say, here are pictures of what I did and I went to camp. And they, mm -hmm. their confidence builds and they're just seen as a regular kid who had a great camp to go to. Right. That's so fun. Athena Davis, a local high school English teacher at Cleveland High School, is our camp photographer. And so Thursday nights, late, late night and early in the morning, they're working to put those albums together because oh. the kids go home on Friday. Yes. So. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking maybe she needs to send those to like Walgreens or CBS. <laughs> <and> <laughs>
<laughs> it's putting them all, up. you know, putting them all in the right. book and stuff. But that's just that's just part of the camp experience. It's those that, special little moments that make it different from a camp. Well, there are other private camps are wonderful, but it's those little individual touches that apply right. to these children that come to camp. That is so special. And you mentioned too that uh, there was a movie made. Called camp. There is it's an easy title to remember. It's called Camp, and it's based on the experiences of a counselor who comes. He does reluctantly comes as a counselor to camp, but when he gets there, all of a sudden he meets this one boy who who is a runner, runs off. But throughout the week, it shows just the changes that take place in the life of these children who normally don't trust adults, and they're there at camp at a rural family camp with people like Tim who are kind, caring, safe, mm -hmm. funny, and they go away feeling, okay, you know, there are people I can trust and just have a different awareness of life after coming to camp. And the movie Camp really depicts that quite well, and it's available on Netflix, too. Yes, I, do. I, I think that's great. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it is so special. And one of the things that, that I think South Cleveland has kind of picked up the torch, so to speak, and, and run with this idea. But, but, Tim, we're looking for other churches to get involved. The 480,000 foster children, and we're able to take 68 this summer. And that's about our limit. Of course, Pastor Lance would take 100 if he took but, uh -huh. but that's about our limit. But other churches can get involved. Uh, they can contact Royal Family and offer to do a camp, and they can get all that information from Royal Family Kids. But we've had local churches that have helped, donated money to purchase the birthday gifts. Mm -hmm. And we, we do have uh, individuals from different churches that are going as cousins. And that's that's neat to to team up with other people from other churches to go. Right. Well, I think it's important to uh, as a, a community comes together and support that church, yes. support your church uh, that's doing it, and hopefully just take that idea back to their church and yeah. uh, form. A, uh, I guess a camp, or and like you said, Royal Families walks you through it. It's not something that you have to come up with on your own. Right. And uh, so the, the is that information on their website? Oh, that information, it says right there, it says, so you are interested in starting a camp. And you mm -hmm. just click on that, and then there's a staff person that will help you, and there's just specific guidelines. And yes, they, I want to say, hold your hand, mm -hmm. but just walk you step by step. Because there's so many specific requirements, like there has to be a nurse on staff. You know, those things that other camps may not think about, but royal family does because of the children they serve. Right, and you mentioned too, Silvana, that foster kids do not get to attend camp, typically. Most children don't. Um, the state is very strict about allowing foster children to go overnight to different places, but royal family has an amazing relationship with all the state Department of Social and Health Services across the country, and they will allow the children to come to a sleepaway camp with royal family. Mm -hmm. Well, and that speaks a lot to uh, Royal Family Kids and, and what you offer and what you do and that it's very uh, stringent guidelines that you have to adhere to and uh, South Cleveland Church of God is doing a wonderful job they are. in that area. And uh, I, I'm excited to, that you're here today to talk about it, Tim, and what you guys are doing. Uh, and we hope that other churches in this area, because you all um, serve Hamilton County and Bradley County, you mentioned, and then you also have uh, someone coming from a little bit further away. Winchester, who have a, found out about the camp, and they're either the foster parent or their caseworker made application. Mm -hmm. So. They're going to get to go to camp. This yes, summer. that's great. And so, if they're interested in something like that, they can contact uh, South Cleveland Church of God. Is that yes? Okay, and just to get more information sure. there as well. And Silvana, you and Alan are uh, heading out and passing through Kentucky on your way to Ohio. It's your next stop. Yep, we're great. passing through Kentucky, and we found there's a ventriloquism museum. So we're going to stop at the ventriloquism museum. I'll report back how that went. And then we're heading up, and we have six engagements in Ohio. 
Th that's great. And how long is your tour? Uh, we will be going till middle of August and we'll end up back in the Seattle area. Okay, yeah. where you're from. Well, it's a great way for you and uh, your husband to just spend quality time together. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure to meet you and, and you. talk to you and you as well, Tim. And again, uh, it's an exciting uh, program that you all have going and that you offer to these kids. And um, I'm just glad to be talking about it today. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time on WTMB Today.